Okay, so if we look at these two swings now, left hand one was your before, obviously the green circles indicating your head around that setup, okay? So your swing before, as you went back, head's dropping, head's dropping, head's dropping, your nose starts appearing into the circle there, okay? You've dropped quite a bit there. This one now, the sensation of staying taller, okay? There's still a little bit of a drop, no doubt, but it's not as much as it was. You're keeping your height there a lot better. So once you've maintained your height there, yes. there's a lot less movement with the knees. Everything's a lot more stable. If you drop down to the ground, unless your head comes back, back up, up into the circle, which on sometimes it does, but if it comes back too far going in yes. that direction, you know, too far from the golf ball, if it goes too far that way, you top it. It doesn't go back far enough and stays down too much to the ground behind the golf ball. So all those three potential movements that you could make... Right are going to create some sort of inconsistency. And you've got to try in the last second from, you think from my note, 9.6 to impact at 9.35. You've got to try and judge that in basically a quarter of a second yeah. to work out, Can't am I lower, too high, have I got to bend my arms, drop my arms, and all this thing. So we can maintain that height. Your arms can just fall back down to the golf ball there now. No reach, nice angle with the shaft, that's not so steep. Nice strike of the golf ball towards the green line there. It's a much more functional as you swing through, allow your head and body to release through. Yeah. Elbow down, club over your left shoulder, over your right shoulder, sorry. Yeah. So you're getting that free release of that so club. Keep my elbow down. Well, your, elbow just, your elbow will just stay down. I think Eventually. that elbow lifting was a byproduct of you getting nearer yeah. the ground. You have to do something. And less tight grip on this oh, thing. Oh, 100%. 100%. Because you... I, no, I felt one of the tight grips had gone wrong and then I loosened it. Because no. uh, when, it's, when it's loose, I feel. See, I don't know. See the way that turns like that. I yeah, you don't want me doing that now. Exactly, you can do that now. But it's. I mean, the wrist, the wrist only hinge up and down. Yeah. They, don't, they don't roll the forearms and doing this no. sort of excessive motion here now. Okay. But I just, it's the forward thing. Is that it's got to come up. Yeah. But even that, you can see trying to push it forward. That's a tricky shot, I know. But exactly. It's, yeah, yeah. You've got, I know you've got to come forward to try because everyone says you've got to get the divot in front of the ball. Yeah, exactly. You, you hit the ball and then the club yeah, bottoms out, okay? But that yeah. comes from just basically your body rotating. If you try and shift too much and you start yeah. sort of moving laterally this way, yeah. as opposed to doing this and this and that and that, there's a lot of moving parts there. What I'm really is you're not supposed to get under the ball. You're supposed to press no, you, you, the ball. Well, yeah, you can't, you can't actually get under a golf ball. No. A golf ball is on the ground. There's no physical way that you actually get the bottom of that. Unless you go under the ground this way and catch it from underneath. Yeah. Which is why a lot of people who've played cricket, who've played tennis, uh, badminton, squash, any sport where there's a racket and a ball, when you need to lift the ball, hit a, hit a ball over extra cover in cricket, you're off your back foot, up in the air. Tennis shot on a lob it, lean back, hit up. All those sports, the ball is up in the air. Yeah. You can hit any part of that 360 degree they've got with the ball, tennis, yeah. squash, whatever, bottom, top, side or back. In golf, you've got one contact spot, it's the back of the ball. Yeah. Okay, back edge of the goal ball with the club, and that's where the club's got loft, you see? It sends the ball up in the air for you. Yeah, yeah. So if we're trying to get under the ball, and again, so many golfers for years and years and years have been told, keep your head down, keep your head down. If you've been trying to keep your head down, and you go back, you'll keep your head down more. Yeah. Then you get, you know, I can't sit down there, I've got, to, I've got to make some room somewhere, yeah. so we can keep that height. So when you're swinging, you're not you're allowing yourself to get near the ground, it'll allow you to keep your width in the swing coming back down. It's just keeping angles the same. Rather than shortening a distance, having to bend your arm and all the different moves you have, yeah. it's a more functional, consistent move. If we catch top of the golf ball, that's your instinctive reaction there of a elbow lift or some movement that you've made to try to get up out of the way because in the past you had to, yes. now you don't. So it's just trying to eliminate a knee to, there you go, beautiful. Eliminate a knee to go up and down. Why bother going up and down when you can stay in the same position? Kind of sort of thing, yeah? Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Cool.